so I, I forgot to tell you, you probably have noticed this first half is quite serious. <laughs> uh, this, this last song along with it. Um, I will tell you the second half is much more lighthearted and you will have a lot of opportunity to laugh. So just <laughs> hang in there. Uh, this one is uh, Gethsemane from Jesus Christ Superstar. And it occurs right after the Last Supper and before Jesus is captured by the Romans and, and eventually crucified. And he cries out to God for uh, in direction, asking why, why me, Lord? Um, and uh, basically this is about facing one's mortality. And in that respect, it's, I think, very similar to a patient who receives a fatal diagnosis. Uh, so now for me, that fatal diagnosis that's most common that I deal with is glioblastoma, or GBM. Actually, one of our oncologists is here. She, she deals with it quite frequently as well. Uh, this is the can type of cancer that uh, affected Ted Kennedy, Bo Biden, uh, John McCain, uh, the famous uh, operatic baritone Dmitry Borostovsky, uh, and even the composer George Gershwin. Um, also, lots of our own family, friends, and acquaintances have unfortunately passed away from glioblastoma. Now, as a neuropathologist, um, this is something that I unfortunately uh, diagnose uh, several times a day, every day. Um, and so I, I always try to remember that patient on the other side of the biopsy. Uh, and I, I imagine myself, if I was received the diagnosis of GBM today, this is probably the way that I would react. So you will notice several of the phases of grief in this piece. There's a little bit of denial, uh, a lot of anger, some bargaining, uh, some depression. It never quite gets to that last phase that we hope, hope to get to, which is acceptance and peace. Uh, but there's a lot of emotional catharsis, which is therapeutic in itself.